All there comes to be the rising of a rising energy enlightenment factor. And he also understands how the rising energy enlightenment factor comes to perfect by development. So there are four sentences. So if you have the energy enlightenment factor in you, in you you should try, if you have the enlightenment factor in you, you should try to understand there is enlightenment factor in me. How you should try? When you are discerning adimic mentality, after that you will understand clearly and completely. But when you are practicing with Vipassana also, you may superficially understand. Superficially means whether my effort energy is less or strong, you can understand clearly. Hmm? And then, then you should increase your enlightenment factor of energy. How you should increase? Wise addition, frequent wise addition is necessary. How you should practice frequent wise addition? What is wise addition? In some other stage, the preceding effort warrior is the condition for succeeding warrior effort or energy. If you pay attention to your preceding energy, then succeeding energy can be developed further. There are three types of energy. Number one is energy they translate. Number two is exhaustion. Exhaustion, is it true? Yeah. Number three is continuous exhaustion. <coughs> These three are necessary. In Bali it is Aramba Dadu, Paragama Dadu, Nikama Dadu. Aramba Dadu they translate arousing one's energy. This is preliminary stage. Then you should not go back. You should raise up this energy. This is called Paragama energy. Paragama is this translated as exhaustion. Hmm? This such type of energy also necessary. Then it is also not enough. You should train continuous exhaustion. <laughs> to defeat the violence, especially to defeat five types of hindrances. Hmm? So <coughs> you should reflect this one. So frequent wise attention <coughs> to these three types of energy is conducive to the rising of unreason, energy enlightenment factor, eh?
too complete, too perfect. Hmm? The, the too perfect, the reason already reason energy enlightenment factor by development. Hmm? So these are important facts. Commentary explain another eleven factors to arouse energy. Hmm? Number one is reflecting on the fearfulness of woeful states. When energy is becoming less, when meditating, you cannot concentrate on your meditation object. Then you should try, please stop meditation. You should reflect for woeful states, fearfulness of, fearfulness of woeful states. Of that, that if I cannot control my mind in that or that, hmm, a whole son Thomas will take place. This a whole son Thomas will produce to be reborn in one of four hopeful states. You should reflect safaris in hell, safaris in, in, uh, in beta world, safaris in animal kingdom. As far well as you can, you should try to reflect this safari. I want to explain once that hmm? we can see different types of animals. Usually many animals are killing to each other. They are devouring to each other. So strong animals devour weak animals. So they are always trying every day killing to other animals especially insects and birds, you can see. Hmm? <coughs> so they are trying to kill others. These are unwholesome kambas. Always they are accumulating these unwholesome kambas every day. Because of this habitual kamma, after that they will reborn in hell. When they <coughs> escape from the great hell, they will be reborn in small hell. When they escape from the small herd, they will reborn in beta wall. In beta wall, some beta, many hundred thousand years, they cannot eat anything. They are a lot suffering, a lot hungry. They want to eat, but they have no mouth sometimes. If they have mouth, then only just more. There is no suitable food for them to eat. So there are a lot of sufferings. When they escape from the beta wall, they will reborn in animal kingdom again. When they begin animal, they, they, they will try to kill others. Because of this, a host of gammas of that, that, that they will reborn again in hell. <laughs> they are suddenly round and round. <laughs> So because of this reason, it is not easy to escape from the four hopeful states. You should reflect these sufferings again. If I, if I cannot control my mind, <laughs> especially in terms of death, these four hopeful states will be welcome to me. In this way, you should admonish to yourself. Okay? At the time, maybe the strong energy will be there. Hmm? A hmm? will be there. So, because of this reason, reflecting on the four, reflecting the, reflecting on the fearfulness of the woeful states, this is one factor. Number two is seeing the benefits of effort. If you try hard, then there may be some benefits will arise. Such type of benefits you should try to reflect. Hmm? What are benefits? Yeah. Number three, reflect on the path to be walked. You must walk on the noble eightfold path. This path you must reflect. Among the noble eightfold path, one panda is the enlightenment factor of energy, Huriya, Sama Vayama, right effort. Without right effort, no one can attain Nibbana. 
Now you are working only, but leading to the nibbana. If you are lazy, then one panda is not present in you. When you <coughs> practice noble eightfold path, and then, then you will realize nibbana. If you practice only seven noble path, can you attain nibbana? Impossible. It is necessary. Now it is many meditators, although they practice noble eightfold path. Usually they are not noble eightfold path. Why? They do not practice samasamadhi. Samasamadhi is right concentration. What is right <coughs> concentration? First <coughs> jhana, second jhana, third jhana, fourth jhana. This is the... This was mentioned in Mahasri Prana Sauda. This is Mijjati Vega, showing the middle concentration. There are three types of concentration. Alkasense concentration, this is sensual concentration. First jhana, second jhana, third jhana, and fourth jhana. This is fine material concentration, this is middle. The immediate jhana, they are also hmm? four immediate jhana, they are last. So sensual concentration, sensual concentration, fine material concentration, immediate concentration, they are three types. More three types, the middle one for that shows. Then we must take the first and the, 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 the beginning and the uh, last also. <coughs> so this is major Jivaga. If they do not bring this concentration, how many noble parts will be? Only seven. Hmm? If they have another feather, hmm, you should please consider. What is Samadhi? Right understanding. <coughs> understanding of the noble truth of suffering. The understanding of the noble truth of the origin of suffering. The understanding of the noble truth of the cessation of suffering. The understanding of the noble truth of the but leading to the cessation of suffering. For noble truth. This understanding is called right understanding or right view. Nowadays, many meditators say, it is impossible to see ultimate mentality, ultimate mentality. It is not necessary. Without seeing ultimate mentality and mentality, you can practice vipassana. Vipassana is important. In this way, this is. So, right understanding is not present in them. So, how many? Concentration also, they do not practice. Why? Within Buddha's dispensation, vipassana is the essence of Buddha's teaching. So matter is not the essence of Buddha's teaching. So they neglect samasamadhi. <coughs> Again, it is impossible to discern ultimate mentality, mentality. Again, they neglect samadhi. How many? Dovalampa Ramay. Six of them. <laughs> <laughs> then again, now you are practicing diligently. And then uh, your effort is very less. <laughs> the it, somehow, I'm right effort is upset again. How many? Five. <laughs> <laughs> is it possible? <laughs> So please consider carefully this. <laughs> so reflecting on the path to be walk, you must walk the noble eightfold path. Not only seven, not only six, not only five. How many? Noble Eight. eightfold path. Mm. You, you must remember. Then honoring the honoring <coughs> the arms. This is also important, especially for beggars. Maybe for you, no much problem and then so but. For bhikkhus, we are uh, we we must depend on the late bodies, so that they may offer good food. So that they may offer bad quality food. All whether this is good or bad, we must accept. We should not condemn them. When they offer delicious food, we should not have it. When they offer bad quality food, we should not condemn them. We should not be unhappy. 
when the edges go on, no, we must accept only. But in this case, honoring the arms means you should be respect to the arms. Huh? When they offer respectfully, you must pay attention to this. From the brackets, what is the connection between the enlightenment factor of energy and honoring the arms? There's some type of connection. Hmm? Many donors, many lay devotees, they offer this arms to the meditators. It's for day three types of happiness. One happiness is sensual happiness. Some devotees, they may expect sensual happiness in future. Hmm? Future existence. Some may be expecting high material and immaterial happiness, hmm? happiness. Hmm? This is also includes sensual happiness. Some may be expecting nirvana. So, when they are expanding in this way, when they are expanding and donating this comes to you, can you give them such type of three types of happiness? You should ask to yourself. Since you are happiness or human happiness, <coughs> deva happiness and nirvana happiness. Three types of happiness. Can you give such three types of happiness? According to their expectation, you should ask to yourself. Why you must ask? No one wants to give three, such three types of happiness. If some devotee <coughs> offer some arms to the noble ones, when they wish for human happiness, this wholesome karma can produce to be reborn in human happiness. When they wish for to be reborn in Deva, what? this wholesome karma can produce to be reborn in Deva happiness. When they wish for Nibbana, for realization of Nibbana, this wholesome karma also can be the central and powerful supporting cause for realization of Nibbana. How it can be this donation <coughs> of Haris can be the supporting cause <coughs> for realization of Nibbana. You may get up me, consider, huh? now you are meditating. Because of your previous karma, now you can meditate under the ability. You may say, oh, I give such and such amount of money. Why you can give? Because of your previous karma is supporting cause. Because of this reason, you can occupy a lot of money. Because of this reason, you can give such and such hmm? price or huh? charge. Hmm? <laughs> if you have, if you are very poor, is it possible? Not possible. So, for realization of nirvana, <coughs> such type of wholesome dharma is necessary. For as a bhikkhu. When he want to practice meditation in the forest, there should be a suitable dwelling place. This is necessary. If you have a lot of wholesome dharma, then there will be many devotees who are ready to offer such a ability. When he is meditating in the forest, enough food is necessary. Is it true? <laughs> but if he had a lot of wholesome dharma, there are many people who want to offer him that he. So this is because of this post on Tama. So four requisites when you are meditating, four requisites are necessary. Because of this post on Tama, these four requisites are already. Because this karma creates these four requisites. But if there are no enough Four requisites. He cannot meditate thoroughly or happily. Why? One day enough, a little bit okay. Another day, no, enough folks. 
So he did not meditate well. <laughs> then, and then the tree, also he can meditate. But when rain is coming, how he can meditate? When wet is blooming, very cold, how can he meditate under the tree? So, suitable validate also necessary. Suitable cloth, suitable food, suitable medicine, they are necessary. But these whole sentiments will be some strong and powerful cause for his meditation practice. If he can meditate heavily at the day only, he can realize Nirvana, depending on his parami. So, whole sentiments are necessary. In the same way, now, many devotees, they are offering food here. Why? They are expecting human happiness in future, or they want happiness in future, or Nirvana happiness. So, why they are offering food to you? Then you, can, you should ask to yourself, can you give such happiness to them? You should ask them. So, in there is one story. Maybe a young maker. He stayed in a one cave called Kaska Lena. Hmm? Kandi, Kandi Beda's cave. Hmm? He is a delicate meditator. He practiced Samatha with Vasanam, Barali Abdu, Sankaru Baka Yana stage many times. But his insight is not yet mature. Because of this reason, he cannot attain any noble stage. But one day, but he, he possessed mundane sex powers. One day he, he was ready to go to four arms round in one village. Small village. In that village, there is one lay woman devotee. She is very old, but she sat this. No, she sat this vehicle as if her own, her own son. He he were her own son. In this way, she is always sat, but she is very poor. One day, she was going to the forest to collect something no? from forest. And then day she tell to her son, to her daughter, here, in that place there is all rice. In that place there is ghee. In that place there is butter. Uh, ghee. In that place there is chakri. <coughs> uh, in that place there is milk. Please mix together this. And when your brother, your maid comes for arms round at the day, <coughs> please offer him. I had me eating the whole rice Ye yesterday evening cooked, so I already eat them. Then give them what will you eat? Her daughter asked. Oh, please prepare for me rice gruel mixed together some vegetable leaves. I will eat only this. So at the day, Ayamita Mahatira is ready to go to for Amstrong. Maybe according to ancient culture, on the way, in the Sudival village, there are small cottages. In that cottage, usually many Mahatiras take their rope, hmm? probably. Like now, we are going for Amstrong, we probably, we probably have our rope in the systematic way. Hmm? In the same way, Mahathira is at the day, he is preparing his rope for arms now ready to go to village. In one cottage. At the day, he is in the rain, sack power, divine ear, ear, ear sack power. He is listening that old ladies talk to her daughter. When he hears this song, he thinks, she already is there. Whole rice, eh? yesterday evening cooked. Eh? From January, so we Let over. Let over one. Now, this day that also she will eat only grow, rice grower, mixed together with the sun leaves. For you, she is offering all rice, milk, ghee, and eh? chakri, mixed together. She is not expecting from you any feel, any clothes, 
any money. She is spending human happiness, your happiness, and even the happiness of that day. Can you give such happiness? He asked to himself. A lot of spiritual urgency comes to him. You have now the final state. What the final mate, such type of meal you should not accept. Then quickly he go back to his uh, cave hmm? and then put his clothes on the hot cloth. On some way at the hot cloth. Maybe on the rock. Hmm? And then put his ball under his back. And then he do. As long as I cannot attain hardship, I will never give back from, from this. I, I will never get that from this seat. In this way, he do the tenets from effort. And then he bright this sumatha vipassana diligently. He, before now, he began that. <laughs> <laughs> so, honoring, um, this is honoring the um. <laughs> Then after that, he come up from the cave, and the, when he is looking, looking up the sun, oh, still early. And then one day one, who is stay near the, his walking path tree. Then he pay respect to him and ask, oh, Benari Vesa, all women, if they can offer you some type of meals, they will be very happy and Many good fortunes will be, uh, will come to them. So please go for Amsterdam. So he take balls and for a bayani rope he go to police huh? for Amsterdam. So honoring the arms is also necessary for bhikkhus or for meditators. If they condemn the offering, this is not good. Is it true? This is also one type of it also could produce certain energy. Hmm? Another aspect is reflecting on the greatness of the heritage. Heritage. Greatness. What are the greatness of heritage? There are seven heritages. Number one, Sadra, confidence. Number two, Sila, virtue. Number three, Sutta, learning knowledge and correct knowledge. Both. Chaga, number, number four, Chaga. Generosity. Number five, Penya, wisdom, vipassana, insight. Hmm? Then, number six, Shay, or conscience. Hmm? Conscience. <coughs> Number seven, fear of wrong doing. All together, seven. These seven are the properties of noble ones. These are the, you must try to gain this seven heritage. These are not small ones. Without effort, you cannot gain these seven heritage. Who has enough effort, he can gain such type of heritage. So in this way you must reflect. When you are reflecting in this way, then energy enlightenment feather will arise in you. This is one. Hmm? The another is reflecting on the greatness of the teacher. Especially in this case, teacher means Buddha. Hmm? Our Buddha's greatness, you must reflect. Hmm? How he great? Hmm? When he is, he was reborn as he in her, uh, from her, from his mother's womb. The whole uh, one thousand, ten thousand uni universe, oh, ten thousand world system shake together. How great! Hmm? When he began in like one in the same way shake. Ten thousand world cycles, hmm? because of his great qualities. Hmm? When he began, when he took Pranibana, after that also, in the same way, 10,000 world cycles shake. 
There are many occasions, such as when he is uh, expounding the Marjanga Bodhana Sutta. At the end of that expounding hmm, discourse, there are also tables in one shape. Because of his power is very great. So, the greatness of our teacher also you must reflect. He ending this onishan, he began this onishan program. Why? For us saying here, for Engal Gulliver Eos, eh, 100,000 Eos, he tried hard to fulfill 10 types of Paramis. Among 10 types of Parami, Maria, energy also one type. <laughs> he tried hard to accumulate these Paramis. He don't get anything. Only he took care of Onishan knowledge. You are his disciple. Why you have lazy person? Why you have laziness? Huh? Why you are being lazy person? Such a lazy person cannot attain such huh? higher stage. In this way, you must reflect. Huh? The another number seven is reflecting on the greatness of lineage. Your lineage is noble one's lineage, not worldly's lineage. You are trying to attain noble one's lineage. Every noble one, without understanding for noble truth, they cannot begin noble ones. To understand noble truth is for lazy person, it is impossible. Hmm? Lazy persons cannot penetrate for noble truths. Is it true? What a lazy person. <laughs> <laughs> they are enjoying sexual pleasures. They have been when they see their father, their mother, their sons, their daughters, their wives, their husbands, their properties. They are very happy. They are lazy to meditate only. <laughs> <laughs> they have no much strong desire for meditation. Such persons cannot penetrate for noble truths. So, our lineage is always we are diligently practicing samatha vipassana day and night. Because of this reason, they attain nibbana, they realize nibbana. In this way, if you reflect, the energy enlightenment also will arise in you. Hmm? The another is reflecting on the greatness of companions in the holy life. In the holy life, there are many noble ones such as Sadarbanas, Sagandagamis, Anagamis, and Arhas. They are trying hard too much. Without trying, they cannot become noble ones. So, in your environment, there are many no in the Nobuka, hmm? there are many noble ones. They are trying hard, giving up their human life renouncing their human life, human properties, human requests, they renounce everything. They train hard for understanding, for noble truth only. So if you are lazy, then you cannot attain any good achievement. In this way, if you are reflecting, the energy of <coughs> enlightenment, the energy enlightenment will arise in you. Another is Avoiding lazy people <laughs> who are always enjoying sensual pleasures. Hmm? Such persons you should not associate. Hmm? The number ten is association with people who exert themselves. They are trying hard. You should associate with such people only. Hmm? The number eleven is the inclination towards the development of the enlightenment factor of energy. Hmm? You should have always inclination. Such inclination is necessary. Oh, I'm only trying, I'm only trying, I'm only trying. Yeah? Such type of inclination is necessary. Hmm? All together there are 11 feathers for arising of enlightenment feather. Then another feather is pity. Joy. Hmm? When there are being joy enlightenment feather in you, you should try to understand there is joint enlightenment factor in me. When there are being no joint enlightenment factor in you, you should try to understand there is no enlightenment, joint enlightenment factor in me. 
You should also try to understand how there comes to be the rising of a region, joint enlightenment further. Then he, you should also try to understand how the region, joint enlightenment further comes to be perfect by development. Hmm? So you should try to understand these four sentences. If you have joint enlightenment further, you should try to understand this joint enlightenment further, etc. Hmm? <coughs> but there are commentary on what's addition is very important. What's addition in this case? The preceding joint and succeeding joint. Preceding joint is the condition for succeeding joint. How? When you see happy ever friend, or happy friend who is smiling, you will be also smile because his his joint is the condition for your joint going. In the same way, you should try. Frequent waste attention. Frequent waste attention means you should reflect to arouse this pity, this joy. How? Oh. When you can concentrate thoroughly <coughs> on your breath or your namida, one day you may feel joy. Oh, when I practice, my concentration is very good. And the time joy is coming, I must try again. Take in this joy. Hmm? Frequently, what wise addition to that try? Again, try. Yes, only if you try again, again, then you will gain such joy again. So this is important. Another is here commentary is praying. Hmm? Reflection of the Buddha, number one. Reflection of the Dhamma, number two. Number three, reflection of Sangha. Sangha. The reflection of Buddha's quality, Dhamma's quality, Sangha's quality, this is also produced to rouse joint enlightenment further. This is outside meditation. Because of this reason, when you are concentrated on your meditation objects such as Anabana, concentration is not developed, joint also not developed. You may have a lot of happiness. Other than please temporarily stop your meditation, and then please try Recollection of Buddha's quality. As far as you can, you should recite Rahana Rahana etc. Hmm? Or Sama Samudra, Sama Samudra etc. When you are read, but you should find first try to understand the meaning of Raha or the meaning of Sama Samudra etc. Hmm? After understanding the meaning, then if you reflect Buddha's qualities again, again, then strong, powerful happiness may arise. This is also one. In the same way, if you reflect Sangha's Dhamma's quality or Sangha's quality, so true powerful happiness may arise. Hmm? And then you can go back to your meditation, original meditation object such as Anabana. Hmm? Another is number four is regulation of morality. This is also important. To arouse happiness, sometimes you should reflect your morality. Yes, well, Story in the name of Buddha, yes, ma, Samanira. When he was five years old, old other than he became Raha. Only five years. Why? This is very important. In the name of Buddha, Buddha, one thousand, uh, hundred thousand years ago, Buddha, 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 Abhya. And then the human life is 100,000 years. And then the Vrimudra Buddha appear in this, in, appeared in this world. And then that hmm, five precept of Zaba, hmm, one Vigu. That Vigu was, and then that he was very poor. He was a servant of the rich man. But he had no opportunity to do Dana, because he had no, and no, he had no property, but he tried, he reflect one day, I should accumulate one type of host on Dhamma, for my refuge, for future existence. If there is no host on Dhamma, there will be no refuge for me. I cannot do Dana donation. 
because I'm very poor. I should do five precepts. I should undertake five precepts. So he go to the monastery and then he has one chief disciple like Venerable Sariputta. Under him he take five precepts. Why? Such a noble one is respectable one. In front of noble one, he undertakes his precepts. He will never break his precepts. So because of this reason, he tried hard to observe his precepts, to be unbroken. Hmm? What unbroken sila? How many years? Hundred thousand years. Hmm. No, one year, two year, three year. Mm -hmm. Never broke. Unbroken sila is hundred thousand years. With the hundred thousand years, whenever he got any opportunity, he listened to Ma. He practiced to Ma, Samatha, Vipassana, Dharadi. Maybe hundred thousand years, too many, too long. So he can meditate well. He, he, sometimes when he got any opportunity, he go to monastery. He listen to the Dhamma. After listening to the Dhamma, according to this Dhamma's instruction, he meditate in his form. In this way, he practice again again. After the Sankarupaka Jnana states, the knowledge of equanimity towards formations. So he already understood what is Adhima Mediality, what is Adhima Mediality, what is their causes. He already understood. And then he contemplated these formations as nature and yoga and ladder. But his insight is not yet mature. Because of this reason, he cannot attain any higher achievement. When he passed near that moment, he reflected his paju. When he is reflecting his paju, when the hundred thousand years, his paju never broken. Unbroken, Sila, he saw unbroken Sila. Because of this reason, whether he will be happy or not, because of this reason, happy feelings appear in the not Reflecting the virtue of the pure purification of his virtue, he passed away. A lot of happiness at that time. Then he was reborn in Divawa. In human war, in Diwawa, human war. Within hundred thousand years, he never re he never go down to four hopeful states. He never revolt in four hopeful states. Only Diwa in human was he is going forward and backward home. In our Buddha's time, according to ancient traditional way of practice, before race retreat, his parents are uh, they observing five precepts in front of one Mahathira. They invite one Mahathira who is coming for arms around in the village. They invite the Maha, that Mahathira in the, to their house. And they undertake in front of that Mahathira five precepts. Because when they raise retreat, they don't want to break down their virtue, their morality. So because of this reason, they are undertaking five precepts. At that time, he, he was five, five years old only. As a child, he was listening, they are very observing, undertaking five precepts. Oh, he, suddenly he remember, 100,000 years ago, he observed these five precepts. <coughs> For 100,000 years, he already remember. And a lot of joy, happiness. Because of this happiness in previous parami, when that Mahathira is found in one dhamma relating to Pono truth, he can understand clearly because he can concentrate well. At that time, concentration also appears because of previous parami. Then when he is, is found in that vacuous discourse, <coughs> discourse relating Four Nova Truths. He already understands the Four Nova Truths and then he can contemplate these formations as Richard Dukkha Then 
he will get a rahat. As you find he has all gone. Is it good? <laughs> Very good. This is what, because of previous parami, reflecting, reflecting his purification of bhaju. This is very important. Hmm? Reflecting his morality. This is very important. But I want to say another. Within 100,000 years, wherever he was born, he was very beautiful. Okay? He was very rich man. He has very high class wisdom. Why? In previous life, in the end of Dumbodra Buddha's time, he accumulated Samadha Vipassana, Hosan Dhammas. These Vipassana, Hosan Dhammas are very high class. Why? Now you may, you may please listen. Hmm? Buddha gave the method to penetrate small body gas calabas. Not only did he gain give instruction how to analyze this calabas, how to understand, how to how you should practice to understand ultimate truth, ultimate reality. Such type of wisdom is lower wisdom or high wisdom. Hmm? You should try to consider carefully. Nowadays, eh, except for that dispensation, no one can teach such type of Dhamma. How many rubas, how many types of rubas are there? How many types of materialities are there? How you should try to practice to understand this materiality? Yes, no technique. Only in Buddha's dispensation is such type of teachings are present. In the same way, when they are uh, descending mentality, they practice according to this cognitive process. Their series never change. In each mind moment, how many mental formations are present? In this mind moment, how many mental formations are present? Systematically teach, systematically understand. Now, in this world, there are many psychologists. Can they understand this way? Not easy. So, <laughs> such type of understanding is low understanding or high understanding. Very high understanding. The dhamma is to be the origination. First causes produce present effect, present causes will produce future effect. Such type of radical knowledge also. Very low understanding knowledge or high understanding knowledge. So you can Kusita Gaya Again, he contemplated these formations as nature. To another. Up to the knowledge of equanimity towards formations, Sankarupaka and Anastasia. Such type of knowledge are also very high, powerful knowledge. So he had already accumulated these knowledges. Because of this reason, wherever he was born, his wisdom faculty is very wisdom faculty. He clearly understood everything. His wise is very high, powerful wise. Wisdom is very high, powerful wisdom. So because of this reason, in every life, he was very beautiful, he was very rich, a lot of property. Eh? It is not necessary to search for property for many years. Because of his karma, Produce this property is ready. How it produce ready? He was born in very rich family. <laughs> it is not necessary to go to search for many requisites, many properties. Then his wisdom is very high. When he learn any education, he can quickly understand. No time, no, no much time. So because of this reason, nowadays many people are searching for to be beauty. Is it true? <laughs> Another is to be rich. Another is to be knowledge, eh? knowledge, knowledge, knowledgeable person. So, if the observing five precepts can produce these three types of results, then should we observe or not? Okay, this is very important. But my meaning is here. 
When he was five years old, at the time one lesson eight, they have various undertaking five precepts. He can also reflect his morality again. At the time, such a powerful happiness appear. At the time, he can help. According to that Pekhu's instruction relating to noble truths, then he can quickly attain Arhasya. Is it good? Mm. Yes, very good. Mm. Then, so, reflecting, reflecting, reflecting of morality, this is also important. It can produce pity, can join. Another is reflecting of generosity. Dana. <coughs> jaga, jaga. Hmm? This reflecting is especially referring Divas. Hmm? Divas, Sada, Confidence, Sila, Baju, Jaga, Generosity, Sudha, Learning Knowledge, Indirect Knowledge, hmm? Penya, Wisdom, Faculty. Divas, these five noble properties are very high. Because of this reason, when he is reflecting his generosity, I'm following the path to be reborn in Deva etc. In this way, if he is reflecting, then a lot of happiness may appear. This is why. Another is why they are offering here food, for example. They are one by one, they are offering enough food. Hmm? Uh, delicious food. And then also, many donors, they have, they feel a lot of happiness. Again, when they are reflecting against this donation, again, again, they also feel a lot of happiness. Such happiness is necessary. So when many day, day there is no much pity, try. And then, then you should reflect your donations, previous donations also. It is also helpful to rouse pity. Hmm? Then another is reflecting of Devas. Devas practice these five noble qualities. Hmm? Sadha, Sila, Sudha, Jaga, Penya. So, because of these five noble qualities, they are reborn in Deva world. In this way, if you reflect, then you may have a lot of confidence. You should have so, uh, I will also accumulate confidence, Sadha. I will accumulate Sila, Paju. Hmm? I will accumulate Jaga, Generosity. I will accumulate Sudha, learning knowledge and direct knowledge. I will accumulate Pinya, wisdom, faculty, eh? insight knowledge. Because they are reborn in eh? Divawa because of this noble Thomas. If I accumulate this noble Thomas, I will be also one day will reborn in eh? Divawa. In this way, if you reflect then, eh? this PD joint also will rise. Hmm? Another is reflection of calmness. This is Ubasama no Sadi. <coughs> this Ubasama is especially the cessation of defilements. But in this case, the cessation, complete cessation of defilements arises from when one begins to realize Nibbana unconditioned element. Other than this cessation of defilements will arise. In this case, especially this. Regulation of Ubasama, huh? Ubasama no Sadi, regulation of calmness. Hmm? Especially can bring this by normal ones only. But Puduchanas by imagination only, they can do. Normal ones, they can realize Nibbana. In the Nibbana, there is no Nama, no Ruba, no mentality, no materiality. If there is no mentality, then there will be also no defilements. So, because of this reason, Nibbana is peacefulness, calmness, state. Reflect, uh, taking this Nibbana as object, one must meditate. Eatan, Sandan, Eatan, Panidan, this is sublime, this is peaceful, this is sublime, this is peaceful, this is sublime, this will be much different. Only. But, Buddha Janas, Waterlands, they can also reflect by imagination only, not direct perception. Hmm? The another is regulation of uh, avoiding cause people. 
you must avoid coarse feedback, rough, hmm? rough body manner, rough speech. Hmm? Such type of persons you must avoid. You should not associate with them. We replied it on the discourses inspiring confidence. So that you shall read Buddha's teachings, which can produce, hmm? which can inspire you to you to arouse a lot of confidence. Hmm? So such type of uh, reading also necessary sometimes. Hmm? Another is the inclination to us try. You should have one type of inclination to arouse joy every day. Hmm? So such type of inclination in every meditation city is necessary or in every body both are also necessary. Hmm? So this is also one type of PD, uh, enlightenment pattern, PD. This enlightenment pattern is especially referring when you are practicing vipassana only. But when you are practicing samatha also, it is also necessary. When you are practicing vipassana, sometimes you cannot meditate well because concentration also not good. And then, then you can do this uh, all together the patterns to rouse PD. Okay, to this letter, so yeah, but there are many questions. Hmm? <coughs> uh, many questions, yeah, one by one, maybe if it is not finished, I'm only trying tomorrow. Hmm? Uh, Mimi, you told us last month about the ten imperfections of China. So, and then I have also no commentary hmm? because of this reason. I'm not sure. Now I'm only trying to explain according to commentary explanation. So, will you please explain how? Dautong la inasya, eh? Tina meda slot and dova are different from each other, eh? How they are the same. Will you please explain more fully? Nanata senya, eh? Adi neja yita. How, how are these two the same and how are they different? Okay. Hmm? So in this case, number one, hmm? number one is Do Tong Lak, they translate in Asia. Here, Komethi explains, Maya Wiriya Galam Pakehita, Tena Me Obila Obana, Wiriya City La Magasi. The dog Gaya Dranto, Gaya Do Tong Lak, Gaya Lassia Udabadi. What does the meaning? Maybe. Other than Bodhisattva is trying divine eyesight power. When he is trying divine eyesight power, he ends up into a local casino, like casino of the Fort Jana. Huh? Then imagine from Fort Jana, he is a limited area. Huh? That's like within limited area. Light is spread. At the day, taking this light as object, again he enters into jhana, pajana, second jhana, third jhana, and then up to excess concentration stage of fourth jhana. Imagine from that fourth jhana, when he is reflecting different objects in this within limited area, he saw different objects such as figures, demons. He was animals, etc. Fearful object also sometimes appear. 
because this object before, I see, for his nigga, uh, he never had been experienced. Now he experienced as a guy. What are these beings? What are these beings? What are these beings? He cannot say well. And then the top is a beer. Because of this top, his the light dog will stand slowly began to speak. So again he tried. I only not see these objects again. I only not pay attention to these objects again. And then in this way When he pay addition, I only not pay addition to these different objects. When he pay addition in this way, because of no addition to these objects, then he not make that slow and October has in him. Okay. Because he do not pay addition to the objects. Then I will not pay addition. Then he stay quietly. At that time, slow and October arise again. When slow the and October arise again, then he try hard to remove this road doba again. But when he bring this again, slowly expanding his leg up to Himalaya mountain, hmm? other than very fearful objects uh, also appear. Other than he afraid. Because they are fearful appearance. Because of this reason he afraid. Other than how he decide? Maya dita vya bagadiya alavya mana nati. When I see him on the mountains with naked eye, I do not see these objects. But if I do not see them, afraid will fear will not arise in me. Now I see these objects, fear arise. In this way, when he is thinking in this way, then his mind. I try hard too much energy. Because of this reason, my mind began floating. So, he relaxed at that time. When he relaxed at that time, Kaya Dharatha, Kaya Dhothungla. Because of this relaxation, Kaya Dharatha, Kaya Dhothungla, Kaya Lassiya Uvatai, Uvatapati. Very laziness at that time, Abhinya. That bodily laziness is called Dautonga. He translates this Dautonga as inertia. Then this is one. Hmm? Then another is, your question is, what is Adi Nejayi uh, explanation? Nanada Sinya Adi Nejayi Dada. Nanada Sinya Sinya Di Maya Ega Zadiya Rupa Manasi Gronda Krauntasa Vijja Ubana Nana Vida Rupa Manasi Kresa Midi Galina Diva Loga Bimuka Galina Manosa Loga Bimuka Wode Dua Nana Vida Ni Rupa Ni Manasi Grado Nana Da Senya Uda Pari Nana Da Senya is specially referring means different perceptions different perceptions means according to Abhidhamma different color perceptions Different sound perception, different smell, different taste, different tangible objects, different perceptions. These are called nanada senya. In this case, nanada senya means so that he pay addition to what? Wow. He see many different colors, different be beings. So that he pay addition to human work. He see many different types of beings. Such is called nanada senya. This senya is changing. Hmm? I think Nija is that that means Masha Maya we Nana we done it, Rubani, Manasi Grandasa Nana that senior Uda body, Etawa Nitawa, Ega Jadi got me, Manasi Grace and Midi, Tata Manasi Grando, I think Nija is that the Rubana Uda body. What is the meaning? When I saw different objects, sometimes he was objects, sometimes human objects, and different objects. If he, I Pay attention in this way, then different types of perception appear in me. It is not good. I will see only one object. And whether it is good or not, whether it is desirable, reverse or undesirable. Only one 
type of beings I only trying to see. In this way, if he wait a decision, only he emphasizes one. This is called Ati Nejai Dada. Ati Nejai Dada, how they translate? Excessive meditation of one form. Hmm? Only one object he emphasizes, only one type of object. So, because of this reason, also his concentration is a little bit far down, like this disbelief. In the same way, when you are meditating anabana or not, hmm? at that time, if you emphasize too much, only one point, at that time, also mind is shaking, at that time, you should try that point a little bit quicker. It is better. When it is big, if your mind is shaped, then you should try to reduce your point a little bit small, to become small. So much it is small is better. For so many it is a little bit bigger is better. So usually I ask many questions about meditators. When Namida is for some meditators very big. Other than they cannot concentrate for two or three sittings well. So then other than we suggest please only one point please pay attention. You should not grasp the whole Namida. Only one point please pay attention. Other than their concentration develops further. For some meditators, some meditators, when point is very small, at the day, they must emphasize too much. This is called a two nature that. It's just meditation, it's just paying attention to the object. At the day also, they are mind a little bit shaking. Because of this reason, they know too much emphasize only one point. Little bit, a little bit only, a little bit big is better. Okay. Another question. Hmm? So that's the, uh, you have mentioned that in the fourth jhana, read the stuff. Will you please comment further on this? Okay, one, well, remain in the fourth jhana for one, two, three hours without breathing. Just breathing. He gain again in the Aruba channel. Aruba channels. Find media channel. Maybe <coughs> you should try find yourself in this place. <laughs> <laughs> because of concentration power, concentrated power. You may consider Gaya Puri, Paramas. Many ayos they are still alive. They never break. Because of concentration, the power of concentration, very strong. In the same way, when they are staying in Pope Jana, at that time they do not breathe. But some meditators, if they frequently come up from full absorption and quickly go back full absorption, at that time they may say, they may be set up breath, some meditators say, because their concentration is not continuous. Maybe for about half hour, okay, then a little bit drop. Then quickly go back to full absorption again. At the time, they may think the subtle breath is still. So, many did does it. As soon as they come out from the jhana absorption, while they are reflecting, then they can see very subtle breath. Why? The reflecting may can produce the breath again. But jhana concentration cannot produce. Reflecting may can produce breath, but at the beginning stage, the breath is very, very subtle. So because of this reason, they may say subtle breath is there. But when they can maintain their concentration continuously, one hour, two hours, three hours, they will not breathe. But in, this is mentioned only in fourth jhana. In our commentary, Pali text, Food jhana cannot produce breath, it is mentioned, but other jhanas they do not mention. But for those who are practicing in material jhanas, I also ask many questions. But some meditators say there are very subtle breath mistakes. But you should try 
find yourself in this point. <laughs> Okay, maybe I'll have a Yes, five times up. Okay, today let us stop here. <laughs> I have many questions tomorrow. <laughs> we really want to be finished or not, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> 